The war in Ukraine. An intense battle is underway at the steel plant that Russian forces have had under siege for weeks. Senior foreign correspondent Ian Panel is on the scene. Good morning, Ian. Yeah, good morning from Kharkiv, Ukraine's second largest city, and one that's been heavily bombarded since day one of this war. You can see some of the destruction behind me. That was an educational institute for government employees. It was razed to the ground by two Russian missiles. There was a time when we thought that Russia would take over this city, but today it's Ukrainian troops who are pushing them back. And it's now becoming clear that they're benefiting not just from U.S. weapons, but U.S. intelligence too. This morning, new details emerging about American intelligence shared with Ukraine that helped sink the flagship of the Russian Black Sea Fleet. This is the Moskva when it was on fire and listing severely. It was a huge loss for Russia. A US official telling ABC News, we do provide a range of intelligence to help the Ukrainians understand the threat posed by Russian ships in the Black Sea and to help them prepare to defend against potential sea-based assaults. But the Pentagon making clear that they had no prior knowledge, saying, we did not provide Ukraine with specific targeting information for the Moskva. We were not involved in the Ukrainians' decision to strike the ship or in the operation they carried out. At the Avastal plant in Mariupol, a band of Ukrainian fighters are still holding on despite facing overwhelming Russian force. The far-right Azov battalion posting this undated video. And this one, also put out by Azov, apparently showing this man, a medic, still trapped inside the plant. Saying, I don't know if there's a tomorrow for me. We're permanently under fire from the air, the sea and the land. In Lviv, video posted on social media and verified by ABC News shows Tuesday's attack on a power plant as Russia hits key infrastructure sites. And in the east, in the destroyed city of Papazna, Russian forces appearing to capture people in military uniforms, seen in this undated video posted by pro-Russian separatists. Well, the effort to punish Putin and his backers for this war is now intensifying. We're seeing a $300 million yacht owned by a Russian oligarch that was seized by the U.S. in Fiji uh, on Thursday. And there are now urgent calls to confiscate this $700 million mega yacht that's docked in Italy at the moment before it sets sail in the next few days. What U.S. officials reportedly believe is that this yacht is connected to Putin himself. Michael. All right. Thank you so much, Ian. Well, hey there, GMA fans. Robin Roberts here. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Lots of great stuff here. So go on, click the subscribe button right over, right over here to get more of awesome videos and content from GMA every day, anytime. We thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the morning on GMA.